hi guys and welcome back to my channel it's a girl food talks with mika and today we are back with another banging video and today this video is about chow today we're making a chow i think everybody will enjoy especially the kiddies to those of you who have children at home you can try the chow to get them to you know eat their food a little more so we're making a favorite favorite watermelon yeah, we're doing some watermelon chow today. So I'm gonna take you on the journey. This step simple, simple, simple step. But before I do, I wanna say thank you to all my subscribers, previous, new, the ones who have been here before. Thank you for traveling on your journey. And we're going up and up and up. Almost reach 200 subs. We're going up, you know, at a thousand subs. That will be great. I'm gonna be <sighs> berserk. Definitely reach a thousand subs. But so far, thank you to those of you who subscribe that's far so we jumping into the video right now let me go so let's steam everything nice so chef knife wash pan and when entering that, we just call it the bowl and wash pan. Salt, black pepper, and of course, they would be a chow without shadow benny or culancho, as it is say in the US. So, I'm gonna cut my melon and make sure your knife sharp too. Alright, and you peel it. Peel your skin, take all your white fat, or just cut it off them. And it better if your watermelon sweet. Oh gosh, you already know what we're doing there. Alright, so I'm gonna put that in my bowl. Cut it in, you know, chunks, bite sized pieces, like. And yeah. I'm gonna dice my shadow benny for this chow. I'm blending it. I will dice it for this chow. And um, we will take the time and season it. Right, so you take your time, you peel out. They say the white part of the watermelon is very, very good. It's a cooling. But to those of you who don't like the white part, you could always cut all that. Omit that and you cut it. And whatever kind of pieces you want, if you want cubes, if you want triangle, you want squares. If you have a cookie cutter, you could use a cookie cutter as well and just cut everything into different shapes if you stab your prefer. Right? So you continue cutting and um, yeah. What a melon chow it is. I tell you, take one part, I leave other part white, like nothing. I tell you, put that here, a little chill, so it will taste even better. I tell you. Right? I start shadow bunny. I'm gonna take my time and dice it nice and small. I'm trying to take my time and dice, 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 you know. So, you guys can dice your shadow bunny as well when you're making your charm at home. If you know, you probably might be feeling to blend it up in the blender. Or you're finding too much on work to take all the blender and put everything in it. You just chop it up with it. Right? And while you're doing this, while you're getting the smell of the shadow bend. Really, really nice. You know, you don't want the shadow bend 
to the soup, they like big junk. You know how we crib and people as we just go to God, the dog if he didn't let me cut a big soup. So, you know, let's cut it nice and small like this. Put it in your bowl. Right? Like this. Nice. So in a bowl like this. Add a little salt. Just a taste. Add a little salt like that. Add a little dash of the pepper. Black pepper. Not too much. And spoon. And you just put it in. So that looks candy all year. Looking nice. My no more missing. I look single eye of you. Tell me if I lie in a man. Oh, God. Oh, yeah. Hmm. Who have it? Who have it? I will let me know who have it. So, this is it. What time I lunch all year? But we're missing one more component. I am going to get a lick in it. Right? But, you know, I had a garlic leaf. So I'm going to put some garlic and I'm going to add some lemon juice to that. And we are ready earlier. Ready. So I'm going to get my garlic here now. My lemon juice. I have my lemon here. I'm going to get my little squeeze. There's a few drops, you know. The lemon does add a real good flavor to your chow too. Oops, I can see it come out here. I have a spoon right here and stand by. So take it out. Guys, so you mix it up nice. There's some of the and garlic. So we have a garlic. Meanwhile, it's Tuesday, so how is everybody? Tuesday going thus far. I let me know. But let me know how your Tuesday is going. What you plan to do today? Those of you who are at work, those of you who are at home, we are doing to occupy your day. You know, the children, some of them probably have um, online classes. Yes, I hear that is a big deal now, so you know how is that going? I recommend you to a lemon, right? We're going to mince up this garlic here, same way, and put it in it. The garlic does have a really good flavor, too. Comment below if you're making a watermelon chow, what will you add or what will you would, what, you know, what you wouldn't add if you're making a watermelon chow home. Because in the Caribbean, we make making chow with almost anything. Almost anything we make making chow. So, I'm going to dice up this garlic here. Right? As fine as possible. Because you know nobody will want to eat no big chunk of garlic. Of course not. Right? So, I want to dice up this here nice. Okay. I have a watermelon. I want a piece of that. I have a melon, Jenna. I want a piece of that. So, Yeah, yeah, 
I might have stuck in my head and I might have back. Those of you who like that, I might have black man coming below. I found what I'm in land. You want to have this and that. You have a melon, you know. So, they will stay. Right, so I think I'll let them back to the man juice. That makes it easy. It makes it not a top of sauce, but I can't have better sauce. You know, more little cousin now, you know. I'll let you consider it too. So, yeah. All right, guys. So, we had the melon chow here. Finish the perfection. You already know. So you know it is in time. So you know better come back now. Right, you know it's in time. Taste in time. I get my taste and spoon. And we come in and taste. A pineapple chow. See what is happening here. I'm a folk. So. We're going and taste the chow, taste the chow. Let me see what's going on with the chow, chow, chow. So, I'm a bowl here. We're going and taste. Guys, thumbs up for that chow. What am I done, chow? Or they had to try it. Or they had to try it. Right? When I lay a spoon for that salt again, and then everything, and it's ready now. It's ready there early. And the pineapple, I just see what I'm gonna do. See, my mind has pineapple now. See, one time I make it, my mind has a drift. I reach pineapple now. What kind of thing is this? <laughs> but anyhow, guys, thank you guys for tuning in today. It's a short video, but what I'm gonna do. I keep saying pineapple. You need red jersey. Yeah, gas and more but no, that is why. But anyhow, what I'm a chow, summertime coming up, or they could make this to them children at home. Somebody iron orange juice in the back here. Don't wash my orange juice. Leave my orange juice alone, not out of bombs. <laughs> anyway, yeah, summertime coming up, so they could make a little what I'm a chow for the kiddies at home. You know, you have another get together at home. You know, what about going on around the world? You know, restrictions and that thing. So, you make a little what I'm a chow. For them children, eh, they go, they will enjoy it. Trust me, they will enjoy it. You know, they put on pepper sauce. For the adults, you could put the pepper and thing. You know, but for children, you just pay little shadow bed, you little garlic, you know, and thing. You try, you know, mince the garlic because you know the children, they say, they say, mommy, what's that thing in there? I don't eat that. You mince it, mince it real fine with little hardy sea waiters, and them children go enjoy that. So, guys, thank you guys for tuning in today. Food talks with Mika. What a melon chow we doing today? What a melon chow. So, thank you guys. Keep subscribing, keep sharing. Don't forget, comment below. If you're making a watermelon chow, what would you add? What would you omit? Comment below. If you like the water, if you like the Nyla Black Man, I have a watermelon. I want a piece of that. I have a melon, Jenna. Okay. So, hey, Timiko, all right, Abby. I'm back to that. Timika again carried away. Again carried. So, guys, thank you guys so much for tuning in. And stay tuned. We have more videos coming up. Stay tuned. And don't forget to comment. Don't forget to comment. Comment, comment. Let me know what you want me to make. Let me to make a, a um, corn soup. You want me to make? Where you want me to make? Tell me. Somebody tell me doubles earlier. That's coming up too. So, all you do is stick. Right? We heading on. Journey to a thousand subscribers and content. But we go in. So stay tuned guys. Food talks with Mika here. Stay in. Stay safe people.